here in this vlog, I am explaining the process of what I mean when I say the phrase, I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to participate in the design of and as the fear of survival as movement or as sight or as sound or as touch or as smell um, or as taste. So basically um, what I am, am saying, uh, let's start with I forgive myself. Basically, I forgive myself is a point of releasing oneself um, from a particular specific relationship. What is a relationship? A relationship is an interpretation of something or someone and so that interpretation becomes um, your your relationship to that person basically um, you're not in fact um, communicating with that individual directly what you are in fact communicating with is your interpretation about that particular individual and so that is the relationship to that person you're using that person to basically evolve your interpretation about them and so what are we in fact releasing when and as we do when and as we say I forgive myself is we are releasing ourselves um, we are giving up our interpretation of the individual so we can in fact see who they are on a direct level because when and as we generate emotions and feelings towards a particular specific individual, we're not, we're not in a direct relationship to them. Uh, we're not on a direct level. Uh, we're not uh, communicating or seeing them directly what we are in fact only communicating with is our interpretation about them and that interpretation we generate emotions and feelings uh, to and towards that individual within interpreting them because that interpretation is simply uh, uh, an externalized point of ourselves. It is in a memory that has been uh, uh, that has been projected to and towards a particular specific individual. So the emotions and feelings that we're feeling is something that we have not. It's, such, it's something within ourselves that we have not taken responsibility for. Uh, for correcting, for stabilizing, and so with us not stabilizing that point, we thus form emotions and feelings towards that, that becomes our interpretation, which is a projection of a memory to and towards a particular specific person or something within our world and reality. So when and as we say, I forgive myself, we are in fact declaring that we are releasing ourselves from this particular specific relationship that we have created to and towards another individual. So we're basically just using that person 
when we develop emotions and feelings towards them. And, and what I mean by emotions and feelings is a a uh, from a reaction standpoint. Uh, from uh, a reaction as a negative reaction to them or a positive reaction to and towards that individual. And so, um, so now we have basically explained the phrase, I forgive myself. And so, the next phrase is, for accepting and allowing myself to participate in the design of and as the fear of survival. Okay. So, what is this design that we are participating in? Uh, a design is a pattern, it is a platform. And so, the design or the pattern or the platform that we're participating in is the fear of survival. What is the fear of survival? So, we have the word survival. Uh, the word survival means that uh, we are trying to essentially make ends meet so that um, we do not um, create a life for us where we are not physically supported in such a way that we are able to have an effective life. Okay, and so if we are not physically uh, supported from the perspective of having sufficient shelter, uh, sufficient clothing, and sufficient food, then um, our life will not be effective physically for us. And so we basically have to survive in this world by doing particular specific jobs in order to acquire the income that is necessary for us to buy the sufficient shelter or to buy the sufficient clothing or food that is physically necessary for us to have a life. And so, that is what survival is on an external level. So, survival also exists within the mind. Because within the mind, we are constantly and continuously regurgitating or bringing out the past uh, in order for us to remain who we have defined ourselves as, as the mind. And so, how we do that, again, is through relationships, which I have explained earlier, is that we that we interpret um, other things and other individuals within our world and reality, and that interpretation is based on what we have, uh, what we already know, or what we have experienced within the past. As that experience, we allow to define ourselves instead of us walking and existing as the directive principle of who we are. And so with us not, not uh, walking as the directive principle, uh, which is moving ourselves, we allowed other things and other individuals uh, 
create that movement within ourselves and thus our personality grows uh, within that perspective and um, our personality is basically based on reactions from uh, different types of relationships that we participated in wherein interpretation becomes our let's say it becomes like a okay if you take a battery for instance you know that a battery loses its power interpretation would be the battery charger it is how we charge ourselves um, our identity uh, in relation to something or someone so that is what this survival is from a mind perspective and so within survival there is always a fear survival is the expression of fear and so that is why I within my soul forgiveness say the fear of survival because survival is an expression of fear and so with that being said let us have a look at the design of and as the fear of survival phrase so I want to break this phrase down into two because there are actually two phrases within this one phrase we have the design of the fear of survival and we have the design as the fear of survival when and as we say the design of the fear of survival uh, we are looking at um, the design as a platform that we have integrated ourselves uh, within okay so basically because if you have a look at the, the design of the fear of survival say for instance uh, for example you have okay you have a bubble and that bubble represents the fear of survival as a design okay and so say for instance you have yourself okay and you're standing next to that bubble okay and uh, so what you are in fact what we are in fact um, saying here is that we have become acquainted with the fear of survival basically that's that's what the design of the fear of survival is is that we see it from a mind's perspective uh, that's that's what we are uh, basically saying is that if you place yourself next to this bubble as the fear of survival we recognize this fear of survival through how we react to it okay that is the design of the fear of survival okay and the design as the fear of survival it means that if you take that same bubble for example and you take yourself that is standing next to the bubble uh, and imagine that you have slowly integrated yourself within that bubble and that bubble has 
has just surrounded you and just enveloped you and you become merged with that bubble to such an extent that it becomes you and so you are in fact you have become the fabric of the fear of survival and so that is what we mean when we say as the fear of survival that we have become the fabric of it and so you know is similar to a relationship basically our perception of a relationship uh, when we see another individual within our world and reality and so initially there is these two separate entities but seemingly separate entities and they become acquainted with each other and thus and then that acquaintance uh, it evolves into a relationship and there is emerging of personalities uh, because um, they have become acquainted to each other to such an extent that they uh, they have become conformed with um, their personalities they, they they take on each other's attributes basically and so also with that uh, that explains a kind of like a merging perspective it's not really a merging of two separate entities but it is but it is the illusion of emerging it is not really emerging per se but it is when one has uh, already within oneself has already had that design that platform that pattern and so within relationships that 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 pattern or that design simply came out and one uh, starts to act as that particular design for instance uh, within the relationship you have you know say for instance the partner was um, very um, bubbly and you were, you know, very serious. And so, because of the extent of the amount of communication uh, and acquaintance with each other, then one begins to become or attribute some of that bubbly personality construct you know but uh, doesn't necessarily have to be a bubbly personality it can be something that when one seen their partner one reacted to and within that reaction a personality developed but it was already within oneself it doesn't have to be a bubbly personality it can be another type of personality that is the manifestation as the reaction to a bubbly personality you know and so that is also a merging uh well the illusion of merging should i say because uh in order for that personality construct to become existent or obvious you know one had to have that particular specific or seen uh, how the other individual has um, how they behave and how they move and stuff like that don't necessarily have to be a relationship but within relationships uh, there are uh, there are a lot of compromise and within that compromise there are a lot of manipulation uh, that is uh, that is accepted and allowed and within that manipulation one begins to merge uh, uh, with the other individuals but you know again it's not really emerging it's just 
simply acceptances and allowances within the mind to such an extent that those acceptances and allowances has become uh, obvious or open and thus these new patterns it creates new dimensions within oneself uh, that was only a seed initially within oneself and so that would be an example of that um, and that is what the design of and the design as the fear of survival means and so um, after the design with that being said we have after the design uh, we have sight sound um, touch uh, sight sound touch taste smell and hearing okay so we have our five senses our five senses if you take that same bubble uh, and you take yourself that bubble may have a particular that bubble would represent for instance a person or something or uh, and so that's something or someone that will represent the bubble and so you know imagine there is a sound to this particular specific bubble you know uh, and with that sound one formed and created a relationship to that bubble meaning that one reacted to that based on how one um, exists within the mind as particular memories and so um, depending on one's uh, calibration as the mind meaning how one has lived within this world and reality uh, it will create and, and construct your design or your platform as your patterns that you uh, that you become as a personality and so with that being said uh, there will be different um, there will be different um, uh, interpretations with how something or someone uh, sounds or uh, or looks um, or smells all of those factors as the five senses are ones the faculties of, uh, of interpretation basically one's engines of interpretations and so basically it is how we form and create interpretations through taking the physical existence and formulating the physical existence to fit how we react to it and so that would be the for instance the design of and as the fear of survival through and as sight because through our sight is how we formed and created an interpretation based on how something or someone looks or through smell or through sound you know or or through taste if, if there is food involved and whatnot and so um, we have through our senses our senses are in fact the faculties of how we interpret and uh, uh, something or someone and that interpretation is in fact imagination it is how our mind works um, through and as imagination okay okay so the imagination is how our 
mind, it is, for instance, say for instance, you are skiing on the water, the water would be the platform which is equivalent to your imagination. And you skiing would be the interpretation, uh, basically, uh, the interpretation is what you're utilizing uh, is your mode of how you create and construct your definition of something or someone within the platform of and as the imagination. Uh, or through, through and as the imagination. And so the imagination is the platform uh, which that platform's platform is the five senses, uh, the physical five senses. Uh, without the five senses, how can one, in fact, create an imagination to a physical um, manifestation? And so we have mani uh, um, imagination as what the mind utilizes as the mind's five senses created by and through uh, and within the five senses of and as this physical existence. Uh, I'm sorry, of and as our physical body. And so basically what, what our minds are in fact doing is simply copying the physical and manipulating the physical within it, the mind uh, as an interpretation. And so basically what we do is we simulate the physical reality and we manipulate um, what has been simulated within ourselves through interpretation, and so that interpretation is us picking and choosing what we uh, see or want to see, and then thus that becomes our uh, vehicle uh, for and as how we create and construct relationships. And so, uh, through the five senses, and as the five senses, meaning that we are in fact the five senses, you know, of sight, touch, taste, smell, and sound. We are in fact the five senses, meaning that we are the fabric, we are in fact the physical body that, um, that uh, has five senses attributed to it in order for us to um, to move within this world in such a way that we are supported uh, through and as how we identify with the world physically. And so that is what our five senses are. It is to assist and support us to identify uh, the physical existence. But what we have in fact done is we utilized interpretation um, to identify the physical existence through and as our five senses. And so, really, we have to come to terms with who we are instead of who we have created and constructed ourselves to be uh, within and as the mind based on how we interpret it in this physical existence. We have to move ourselves back to and within a recognition of who we are uh, in relation to um, our physical um, integrity, understanding who we are physically as that is our 
basis of our life within this world is the physical. And so we have made the physical less than and have in fact made the imagination uh, which is the mind's platform created from the platform of the physical the mind's platform of and as movement which moves ourselves to create and construct interpretations about that which we have uh, made inferior, which is the physical. Because when and as we interpret something or someone, we have in fact, in a sense, we have made them uh, inferior to ourselves because we are in fact manipulating uh, the physical based on our imagination. So in a sense we are in fact making them inferior to us, you know, or superior, but really it's inferior, inferiority because uh, superiority is just an illusion and uh, in order to make something superior you have to in fact define yourself as inferior to that and then thus you create this position of superiority believing that you're superior when in fact you have become more inferior <laughs> to your definition of of or your relationship to that which you have created an interpretation to so really superiority is is a position of inferiority to an interpretation of which that interpretation is inferior or has been defined inferior to something or someone so man really but uh, yes, uh, this video is the basis of the phrase, I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to participate in the design of and as the fear of survival through and as sight or through and within sight through and as sight or touch or taste or smell or sound and or thank you